open the shark queen. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? That's right, North Carolina Tar Heels back in action today, trying to defeat those Florida State Seminoles. I'm here watching this game. It's on ESPN, so I'm here watching the tail end of, which I'm sure all of you guys are, the tail end of Texas A&M and Auburn, Auburn number one. Also checking out our uh, our ex Tar Heel Walker Kessler, who's up there playing like a a, a madman. Man, just just imagine. It. And that's it. I'm done imagining. There he is on the bench right there. So. The Tar Heels have got to get this win today. It's a home win. We uh, I actually took care of business um, in our last game. So getting this one will be really great for us. What's going on, Michael? What's going on, Darv Gillis? What's up? Caleb Love starting to play better. Yep, yep, yep. He started that last week like he was uh, finally able to get his touch under the basket. <clears throat> so we hope that carries on. I'm sure Will just went through a little a little span of, uh, you know, being off a little bit. But uh, ooh, if he gets back on, then, you know, it, the inside is, is a wrap. For us, I don't know. I don't know what it was. It seems like people started to double team him, and uh, I think he was trying to force it a little. And here in the last few games, he's been uh, going ahead and passing out of that double team. Same thing he and uh, Daron Sharp had to do last year. Everybody would double team those guys and um, <clears throat> just pass out of it. And, and that's where uh, that's where our guards were exposed last year. Not being great shooters, but uh, I think they've stepped it up just a little bit this year, and and that's what you got to do if you're being double team. Go ahead and pass out of it to begin with, you know, and then once they once they realize you're gonna pass out of it, uh, then going to the basket will be a little bit easier. All right, so Texas Tech goes down to Auburn, 58, Auburn. 58-75. Let's go. Let's go get to my Tar Heels. So there's a timeout already. Yeah, I've been ch I checked out uh, Florida State's record, man. I was like, oh, not even their record, just their last few games, and it's like, they can't, they, you know, they, they hadn't won anything. They only, they're in a losing streak. So it's looking like my, uh, like, like my Hornets were until last night. Um, and so all I'm hoping in my, in my mind, in my head is that, uh, you know, I know Florida State is due a win. This just not have it due, be due today. And so far, it looks like Carolina's coming out pretty, pretty good. They're eight to zero. Hey, Coach, hope, hope you're well. I'm at work today until 4.30. Hopefully someone else will be here to amend today. 
Man, look, Garrett. I'm glad you showed up, man. I'm going to try to keep you abreast of what's going on. Yeah, they, they game, the game will be over before you get off, so. All right, 15-41 left in the first half, and the score is 8-0. to Florida State just called a timeout. And Florida State has the ball. There's a drive, loose, it recovers. I got to learn these guys' name again. Number zero, I think that's Evans, has the ball. He shoots, misses again, rebound. Davis for Carolina, he's there off to the races. Slows it up, gets it to Love, swings it back to Davis. Now Davis calls the play. He hands it off to Love. Love goes back toward the left, gets Leaky Black in the corner. Now down to Manic. Leaky back, cuts to the basket, finger roll is good, and a foul. <clears throat> and everybody, I know we got, you, you Carolina fans, we are all loving the uh, the output of Le Leaky Black offensively here in the last four games, actually. And that's exactly what the uh, commentator just said. I'm going to have to learn these commentators' names today. Hornets drop. Yeah, like, you know, when we hit our, when, when the Hornets hit outside shots, and for the Hornets, it's three-point shots. When they're shooting the three-ball well, it's kind of hard to beat them. 141 points to put what we put up 140 some the uh actually it was a <laughs> I think it was against the Pistons too the last time we put put that up yeah that's when Kelly Oubre went off but uh yeah if we if we get comfortable and we hitting threes it's we're kind of hard to beat but for the last the last six games man we have the last five games the Hornets are just have not been able to hit the outside shot. So maybe maybe they're going to uh, come out of their slump because they got a game tonight against the Grizzlies. Armando Baycott goes to the basket. Finger roll. It is 13-0. Florida State has the ball on the right side. Swings it over to the left. That's number 31. Got to learn these guys' name again. Scoop layup is off the mark. Rebound, Baycock. He leads past that of the Leaky Black. Bounce past the man to the basket, and there's a slam dunk. 15-0 right now. Florida State thought about a three drive. Scoop layup with the left hand again. Another rebound, Baycock. Another lead pass. To Leaky Black. Leaky Black slows it down. Gets it to love. Three-point shot goes up, and it's good. Carolina has not been out to an 18-0 lead all year. I can't even remember when we've been out up to an 18-0 lead. Still 13-27 left in the quarter. Excuse me, in the half. And there is a timeout. Uh... Uh, what is the coach's name? Is it Leonard Hamilton for Florida State? I'll look that up. He cannot be feeling good. I, I'm going to tell you right now, I thought when I saw Florida State play at the beginning of the year <clears throat> that they were going to be a force to reckon with, you know, with that, that height and length, with the length. But um, I don't know what's happened to him here. Uh, right now, I don't care. I feel sorry for my man, but uh, I hope Carolina beats him by 30 today. And we are back. Three years. So the woes of the 
Yeah, 158 last time. And we hitting that three, man. It's it's difficult. And um, uh, Mont Montrez Harrell, he looked good last night. Seminoles get it inside this time, and there is a foul. Oh my gosh, Coach putting in styles already. And the big man misses the free throw. Let's go, baby. I'm going to have to fix my camera. But that, that's an that's a interesting looking effect on my on, on my, uh, my logo right there. All right, Florida State puts a little pressure on, on uh, North Carolina, but they get it across, and uh, Davis calls the play. It's called, I think it's the baseline. Oh, try to get it down to Baycock. Would have been a nice one. Florida State is on the board one. It is one to eighteen. When you start out over nine, and you can't lean on two or three guys you would typically lean on with a rough start, because they're not here. Leonard Hamilton with thirty-four years of experience is a Yep, Leonard Hamilton. Carolina gets it into the backcourt. Davis brings it down on the right side. Now he goes to the basket, shoots, and the ball rattles in. Two more points. And Mills, one of their main guys, if not the main scorer, he is hurt. Looks like he twisted his ankle pretty bad because he's still on the floor. Had an insult to injury. So Coach, is gonna, Coach Leonard Hamilton is going to have to find somebody uh, else to go in there. Uh, we say uh, that's a bad thing, but... That means there's one guy that, that's uh, been behind Mills that's saying, hey, now's my chance. I hate Mills got hurt. Oh, yeah, he twisted his own ankle. He rolled. Man, that looks like it doesn't hurt. It looks like it doesn't hurt that bad, but boy. When you do that, it pulls, and it pops and pulls. Whew. Bad feeling. All right, guys, thanks for being here today. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Mills still down on the floor. He is in pain. This is really remarkable that this keeps happening. And Leonard Hamilton has told us, you know, they've been able to escape these type of injuries over the past five or so seasons. They really haven't had this type of injury bug at all. And now... So that's what it is. Okay, so polite. I was looking for polite. He's not there. So it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of uh, bench players on the on the floor playing for Leonard Hamilton. That's why a uh, bunch of his starters are hurting. I mean, are are, are uh, injured. All right, so there is another timeout. This is for injury, base, basically. My bad, guys. I'm trying to keep up the keep this score up. It is one to twenty right now uh, for Florida State. Butler. Well, I mean, it's no need to look. Only one person has scored. That's Nam. Uh, for the Tar Heels. Baycock, two points. Manic, seven. Davis has two. Love has six. And uh, Leaky Black has three points. So, yeah, Leonard Hamilton, that uh, his team's going, going through it right now with all these injuries. And that's why they haven't been playing well. He's got guys out for the season. 
but the show must go on. So hey, if, if this if if this means it's a win for Carolina, then it's a win for Carolina. See why they're doing that. Let's uh I know some people already know who Carolina has next. It's uh it's Pittsburgh. But just want to take a look at what the schedule looks like. It, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost over. It's uh you know, March Madness will be here in no time, you know, a couple of weeks, and that's it's that's it. So, Carolina, today playing Florida State. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more games. Ask if you go ahead and, and get this one out of here. There are uh, six more games. We've got Pitt on the 16th. Uh, we've got to play Virginia Tech on 19. Louisville again. Uh, then we've got to go to State. Play Syracuse. I, for some reason, I thought we played Syracuse. I think I'm getting that mixed up with uh, the stream I did on Syracuse and um, and Duke. And then, speaking of Duke, we have Duke, obviously, the last game over in Cameron Indoor Stadium. So, yeah, it just it seems like the season is just started not too long ago and now it's about to end a couple of weeks will be in march madness and then it'll be time to see if uh if these tar heels can get into the postseason sean what's up yep no let up 40 minutes only thing and it's been all year not grabbing rebounds. Too much tapping. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely behind grabbing the rebound, coming down strong, coming down, both hands on the ball, and then going back up strong. Offensively. took him out. Collins kid, bro. Yeah, that was that was bad, man. But uh, yeah, Collins, he didn't. He he seemed to be very remorseful after he did it, man. But man, he took off, and I hate to see guys get wide open, uh, have wide open uh, lanes to the basket. I mean, you know, because especially when the other guy defender takes off to try to catch him, because there ain't no way they're gonna block it most of the time. And Collins just ran straight through him, man. He could have. Kid could have landed on his neck or something, but anyway, <laughs> all's well that ends well. Whistle away from the basket, ball at 12:05 to go here. 
All right, Baycott with 12 minutes and five seconds in the half gets his first foul. Uh, so there's Butler, Nam, Cleveland, Evans, and Mills is not on the floor. Gone. All right, Carolina comes out of there with the rebound. Florida State still with only one point. Davis, wow. Davis goes to the basket on the left side, throws a little baby hook up with his left, and excuse me, with his right, and that goes in. The score is 124, 1-24. Florida State finally gets a drive by number 21 that goes in. After eight and a half minutes being played of game action for Florida State, the first field goal comes. Cam Fletcher driving to the basket. That was Fletcher. Recently fell to nine and sixteen pits. Last time by Love on the drive and kick. Skip pass by Love. Davis drives another layup by Davis, getting to the basket with ease. Now Florida State getting on uh, the offensive end. Five to twenty-six. Ten minutes and forty-eight seconds left on the clock. Carolina swing passes the ball over to Styles on the left side. Styles dribbling gets that to Manic. Now back to Styles, almost thrown away. Love saves that one. Now Love drives. Bounce pass to Manic under the basket. Another layup is good. Or should I say lay in? Kamila, what's up? And Florida State is getting into the scoring column, seven to twenty-eight. Milo, how'd you guys do this week in your uh, basketball games? Crossover dribble, skip pass by Love. Styles can't handle it. Yeah, it was a big play made at the end of the, the Clemson Clemson game. It was. I will say Manic Manic seems to be well rested now. I'm fine, Andrew and Matt at my place chilling. That's cool. Fletcher drives again. Left hand layup is no good. Ball bounces around. Baycott comes out of there with the rebound. Oh, that's that's cool. That's what's up, uh, Milo. Winning is everything. Well, oh, Davis stops behind the three, misses. Styles gets his hands on the rebound. Carolina recovers. Back over to Davis. Manic tries to get it down to Baycott. Baycott. Saves it, gets it to Davis. Davis, crossover dribble, gets it to Manic. Bad pass. Evans drives, and he's fouled by Walton, who's in the game right now. Yeah, winning isn't everything, but that's what we're trying to do win every time. Evans on the line misses the free throw. So number Evans is number zero. Fletcher is twenty one. Learn these guys' names. Styles takes it out for Carolina. Full court pressure going on. He gets in Manic. They are not. They get the ball back to Davis, and Davis gets across the timeline in time. Dribbles to the right side, hands that to Walton. Walton throws a little high pass to a backdoor cut. Wow. Uh, Her and Walton got that ball to Baycock. Baycock caught um, Styles with a backdoor cut, and he muscled it in. Fouls on the play. 
Miles miss foul, uh, fouls misses the free throw, but the score is 30 to 8. Styles with the rebound. He gets it out to Davis. Curran Walton shoots a three and he bumps that one in. Carolina shooting a great ball right now. Eight minutes and 37 seconds. Drive by uh, Florida State. No good. Davis has the ball, bringing it down on the right side. He drives three men on him. He gets it out there to Manic. Manic looking down at Baycott. Baycott not open. Manic gets it back to Davis. He's in the center court right now. He hands that to Styles. Styles crossover dribble. Crosses over, loses the ball. Styles too much dribbling. David gets back. Great defense and almost saved. But it's out of bounds to uh, Florida State. Yeah, Styles got, got a little happy there dribbling the ball. The crowd is cheering. I wonder who came in. Puff Johnson comes into the game. Florida State swings the ball number 35. On the left side, he's still drilling. Now he gets that at the top. Three-point shot is no good. Baycott with another rebound. Davis drives, kicks it to Curran Walton for another three. Curran Walton misses this time. Puff Johnson got his hands on the ball, but Florida State comes out of there. Evans brings the ball down for Florida State. He wants to drive. Right-hand layup, high off the glass is good. Puff Johnson takes it out. Davis brings it down. He's now on the emblem at center court. Dribbles to his right. Behind the back dribble, screen set by Manic. Picks up his dribble, gets it to Curran Walton. Everything's still on the right. Curran Walton drives. He's fouled. And one. Curran Walton will be going to the to the free throw line after this timeout. And I had told my my roommate that I'll support him today. We have a football game. Y'all have a football game today? That I will I'll support him today. We have a football game. Wow. Well. I guess it's not too weird. I mean, I know it's not like football season, but like last year, last year because of the pandemic, uh, our football season was our football season was played in the spring also. So, so I understand that. Super Bowl tomorrow, guys. What you guys think? Who's gonna take it? The Bengals are the Bengals or the Rams. Hey, my team's sitting at home with me, those Panthers. You know, but uh and so I have to go for the underdog, and you know the underdog would be the Bengals. Bengals hadn't had anything going good for them uh in years. And now they get all the way to the big dance. Let's see if they can take care of business. You know, then all the other the pageantry that comes with the with the Super Bowl and the uh, the commercials. You know, everybody's got to check out the commercials, the, the the halftime show. I wish I could show the halftime show, or at least listen to the halftime show. But again, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure even listening to that music, even if it's live, is going to be copyright copyright uh, claims on it. But uh. Should be pretty interesting. See if I can do something special tomorrow. You guys come and join me. Smitty, LA Rams. I hear you. Well, 
Rams all day. I think it'll be uh, be close, but Rams Rams will get it done. I think they have the overwhelming majority, probably the overwhelming majority of people are going to go for the Rams. Um, but don't count those those Bengals out. Now the Rams come in there thinking like a lot of people, hey, we got this because you know, you know, we, record wise or whatever. I guess the Rams are better. Uh, never count out. Never count out guys that don't have anything else. Don't have anything to lose. Because the Bengals know they're uh, the Bengals know they're uh, underdogs. But this is the last game of the season. We're talking football. Football-minded guy. He ain't worried about getting hurt right now. You know, with this game, it's like, hey, let's win. Because, you know, if I get hurt, I got all offseason to heal up. So, you never know. But for me, I just like to see the underdog do good. So, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping wins. Yeah, I think at halftime they got a that the uh, old school, uh, not really old old school, but old school uh, rap artists. I think uh, Snoop, Dre, is Dre gonna be there? Yeah, I think Dr. Dre, a couple of others. Rams all day. I think we'll be close. Halftime show gonna be lit. Did you see me? Zach Greer. Zach, what's up? Hello, coach. Ball game today. Hey, Zach, man. I hope you guys do well. Uh, you were running back, right? Pub Johnson. Everybody's getting into it. For Carolina, Pope Johnson hits the three. Let me update. <laughs> Number 22, I think that's the big guy. Uh, he's about seven foot tall for uh, Florida State. Baycott with another rebound. That was a missed shot by Florida State. Love brings it to the center court. Cross pass to... Uh, Kerr Walton back to Love. Love bounce passes it down to uh, Caleb. He can't handle it. Excuse me, not Caleb, but uh, oh, that is a charge. Puff Johnson draws a charge. Uh, that was a missed a shot down the other end by Baycock. Actually, not a missed shot. It was a pass that was stolen. Pub Johnson trying to get it in, a little full court pressure uh, by Florida State, and Carolina has to call a timeout. 13-39, 5:56 left in the first half. Michael Smitty, it's a home game for the Rams. Uh, is it for the Rams? I thought. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> it's a home game for. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, it's a home game for the Rams. I, I Yeah, because they're playing. Playing their books. We're home last year for the Super Bowl. Snoop, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar. Bro, they got all the old school, and they threw uh, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar in there. Cool. Me and Camilo, his roommates, yep. All right, Love has the ball. He hands it to um, Puff Johnson. Now, Curran Walton has it. Crossover dribble. Curran drives. He misses a layup. Florida State comes out with the rebound. They're pushing it. Post, coast to coast, that's Fletcher. All right. Got to keep playing uh, defense, Carolina. Can't have any comebacks. 
Love has the ball. He crosses over, dribbles toward the left. He shoots a long three, and it's good. Guard shooting a great outside ball today. Evans brings the ball down for Florida State. He thought about the three, handed it to number 30. They kick that over to uh, Fletcher. Fletcher drives again. Tried to get that down to the big man. Nothing doing. Carolina steals it. Now Love brings the ball down. He's on the right side. 15 to 42. Four minutes and 54 sec 45 seconds left. Backdoor cut by Manic. That pass was from Baycock beyond the three-point line, and Manic is fouled on the play. Man, even when Carolina's doing good, the crowd is, is not really, really crazy. We only make noise when we do something. Right, and I, I keep talking about, uh, <laughs> I keep talking about Duke, but hey. They're the only team that I see that does stuff like this. Right now, Florida State would be like, there's no way they would be able to come back with all that noise that would be going on now. Evans brings the ball down for Florida State. He drives over to the right side, shoots a three off the mark, rebound, Love. Love brings it up the court, nobody there, but he goes around his man, kicks it over to Davis for three, and Davis hits another three, Carolina. Will be it will be interesting to see what the percentage is of for three point shooting Carolina is is shooting. i only I can only think of one missed shot from three, maybe even not any from three. Fletcher drives and he is fouled by Manic. I think that is number two on Manic with three minutes and fifty four seconds left on the clock in the first half. There's another timeout. Carolina well in control of this one so far. 15 to 46 is the actual score. We lost last time. <laughs> yeah, our fans are spoiled. <laughs> Garrett, I'm telling you, man, we just sitting there chilling. <laughs> we our our fans are just chilling, man. It's like, okay, we're doing good, but you know, it's you know, we just we 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 stressed out. Legs crossed, sipping on our little beverages. I know I am too, but heck, I'm at home. Like even uh, you can't even hear the, the the student the student section. Let's go, baby. Duke would have all kinds of little sayings going on. I mean, Florida State would just it mentally, <laughs> mentally they'd have to say, man, look, right now with that score, they'd have to say, hey, let's just come on, clock, run, let's just get out of here. But regardless, regardless, as long as we win. I'm cool with the wine and cheese. Look, 30 get I, I'm saying, man, let's go. <laughs> we chill. Uh, all, our, <laughs> all our fans want to do is see the ball go in. So they like, yes, yes, good job. Good job. Hooray, hooray. Oh, no. Oh, no, it looks like... It might be an alley up. Oh, good job. Cheerio, cheerio. <laughs> That's all right. Well, it was funny our team lost last time, so I'm afraid we're going to. Nah, girl, you got you gotta be you gotta be confident, man. 
you guys got this one. I was checking out, I was checking out your uh, your team as a football team. Man, y'all, I, I only saw like what is it like four running backs? Four running backs. One running backs my size. Five. I forgot what his name was. Harris or something. Five seven one seventy five. Actually, actually. Actually, I'm bigger than him now. I'm like, I'm like 200 pounds. I, I gotta lose his weight, but he's probably all muscle. Rodney, hey Tar Heels family, checking in from work. From a score, we look pretty good. Yep. Hey, hitting, hitting all kinds of outside shots. There's another one, and it's good. Caleb Love, uh, Kerwin Walton. I mean, everybody's shooting threes. They're going in. Like I said, I should have looked at the uh, the, the uh, percentage in that timeout, and I will next time. Florida State just hit a three-point basket. Davis has the ball on the right side. He drives again, throws it up, and scores again. And that's one thing Davis has been doing really good today. He's been getting to the basket. He's been, like, I mean, that nice little crossover, not too much dribbling, nice little crossover and go. And he's, uh, it's like he he he, see who's, he sees who's guarding him, and he's like, I got him. Cross, a quick little crossover, and he's to the basket. Davis misses the free throw, but Baycott gets the rebound and he's fouled, so now he goes to the free throw line. A chance for Carolina to come away with uh, four points on this, this possession right here. Two minutes and 57 seconds left in the first half. Baycott hits the first. Thank you all for being here. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Baycott hits both. That's a four-point swing right there. Yeah, Rodney, they're playing pretty good today. They got out to a 18-0 to zero lead at the beginning of the game. Kayla Lowe. Oh, nice pass. And Leaky Black with the dunk. Nice Nice assist by Caleb Love. Evans has the ball on the left side for Florida State. It's 50, actually 55. Evans got blocked, but he goes up for a reverse on the opposite side. Loose ball, Manic on the floor. Finally, the ref calls a jump ball. Yeah, they're getting ready to see. A, they're getting ready to replay that. Love comes down. He's on the left side, bounces between two guys, and uh, Leaky Black finishes with two hands, hangs on the rim a little bit for the effect, and to keep himself from getting hurt. Nice play by Love and Leaky Black. Manic goes out. Uh, McCoy comes in. Evans for Florida State has the ball. He swings it over to number one. I'm going to get these guys' names right. Oh, long three by Evans is good. Yeah, Leaky. <laughs> Leaky Black. So Leaky has it on the right side. Hands it off to Caleb Love. He's on the emblem in the middle of the court. Brings it over to the right. Crossover dribble. He shoots another three. And he hits another three. The rim didn't even move on that one. Guys, I don't even know if you guys since it I don't know if it, uh, my poll question is, is even up. But if Carolina keeps shooting like this, they're going to They're going to score 80 points with no problem. Good dish by Leaky Black. 
Nikki Black drives and he dishes that down to uh, Baycock. Baycock slams it and he's fouled. Carolina has accumulated 60 points, 60 to 21. Oh, Nikki Black misses the free throw. Dude, it's so nice to see Nikki. I know, man. Apparently, he struggled with anxiety, and now he knows how to handle it. Jackie Emanuel has helped him uh, meditate for a game. That's good, man. Because, uh, oh, Fletcher hits a three. It's a bank shot. He didn't call it. But we're going to give it to him anyway. 44 seconds left before the half. Davis shoots a, a quick two, and he drains a quick two. Fletcher drives. Left side is blocked by Baycock. Baycock gets that ball over to uh, Davis with 21 seconds. He dribbles over to the left side. Coach is like, let's go ahead and take this last shot. Love has the ball on the UNC emblem in the middle of the court. It's now eight seconds. Let's go. Make a move, baby. Six right here. I can't look. Love probably wants to shoot this himself. He drives, throws it up, and it's blocked out of bounds. At the half, Carolina goes in 24 to 62. Ball not day. So good to see. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I saw, like I said, I, I was checking out um, Florida State's record, and uh, I had noticed. I, you know, I didn't know that those guys had uh, hadn't won in what was the last four or five games. They having a five, four, uh, like a five or six game losing streak. But it's because they got a lot of guys injured. Some guys just completely out. You know. But even with that, you know, the, the fact that Carolina is still hitting shots like they're hitting, that's that's still a good thing. You know, all, all everybody who, who's a Carolina fan has been checking these guys out. You know, heck, there's some – who do we, we play like two – was it two or three games ago that – that were not supposed to give us a, a big challenge, says a matchup predictor. But uh, Carolina just wasn't hitting the shots. You know what I'm saying? So it, it doesn't matter. You know, Carolina is still hitting shots here. You know, so, you know, all those naysayers can say, hey, you guys playing the depleted Florida State team, regardless, you still have to hit the shots. So we're hitting shots today. Uh, Good ball movement. Inside out play. Uh, playing defense. All right, guys, I'm going to look at the, uh, let's, let's look at some of the facts, look at some of the stats. But before we do that, make sure you guys like, hit that like button, hit that like button. All right, hit it. And subscribe to try to get double figures today. All right, let's take a look at the stats. Field goal percentage, wow, 74% by the Tar Heels, 30% by uh, Florida State. Three-point shooting, Carolina is 9 of 12, 75%. When's the last time we've seen that? Uh, Florida State, 3 of 8. 
35, 37.5. Uh, free throws, not shooting terrible, but not shooting great either. Like I said, like I always say, 80, 85% and more, it's, it's a free throw. Go ahead and hit those bad boys. Rebounding, 21 to 10. Baycock has uh, definitely more than anyone on our team. Assist 12, there's your steals, your blocks five, turnovers, Carolina has six, six to eight right there. And the largest lead, 39 points. Let's go. For Florida State, Gom has one point. That's the big man. And uh, Evans has nine. Warley with two. And Fletcher has seven. And as you can see, that, that, that lineup, a lot of those guys that played the last time, or last time I seen them play, just not, not playing. Uh, polite. Uh, Mills. Mills got injured. He probably will not be back. For Carolina, for those Tar Heels, Baycott with six points. 